This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Well, I was one of the uh, founders of Kansas Ethanol uh, back as far as uh, raising the money and uh, doing all the other things that are required to get a plant into operation. Um, and I'm now chairman of the board and have been uh, throughout the time that we've been in operation. There is probably more ethanol than we can absorb right now at using 10% uh, ethanol in our fuel supply. And so exports become really important. And um, so we're favorable towards making more people from other countries aware of the advantages of ethanol as an oxygenator within our fuel supply. Um, you know, not only from our standpoint, but from the environment, uh, environmental standpoint as well. This is just an excellent additive to um, gasoline and reduces the, um, the carbon that it, we're putting into the air and other pollutants uh, by substantial amounts. And so we want to play our part in helping make that happen. I think farmers have become uh, pretty aware uh, that a large fraction of the nation's corn, including locally, uh, flows through an ethanol plant. Uh, what's lost on, on some of the critics of ethanol is that that's just the first step and that our, our only product isn't ethanol. We have multiple products at this plant. We not only have the distiller's grains, which uh, because we're a plant that mostly sells uh, wet distiller's grains, that ends up in the many feedlots in the area. So we're feeding the distiller's grains to the self-same cattle that would have been eating the corn if we weren't here making uh, ethanol out of the starch. And then we have oil uh, that either goes to biodiesel or it goes into pet food. Um, and we, uh, we actually make some of our dried distillers into uh, range cubes for cattle uh, during the season when they're out on the pastures and things. And we also uh, even sell a little bit of our uh, CO2 to um, um, companies that need flash freezing for their meat products. And so uh, even, even our CO2 goes into uh, an, a, as another product. So we're making a lot of things out of that little corn uh, kernel. And we're proud of the fact that we get better and better and more efficient uh, at doing that. Well, I guess there would be multiple things that we would hope they would come away with. They visited farms, so they, I think, recognize the efficiency with which an American farm now operates and it is impressive. Uh, there's not much more efficient entity than a family farm uh, because of the way that the, the labor of the owner f figures into that. So right from the start, um, we're, we are an efficient operation and I think that's the case with our plant as well. We're taking uh, that uh, corn in and as we've already said, making a lot of things out of it, including a product that we think they would like to have, which would be, well, actually the two products that they would be interested in, um, both the ethanol itself and uh, dried distiller's grains uh, are also easily shipped because they have a long shelf life uh, that can be utilized in other countries to uh, fatten their animals uh, as well. Summer is busy at Tarwater Farm and Home. We have just about everything you'll need for your summer projects and we're consistently competitively priced. Tarwaters can help make your grass and garden grow. And we have a huge variety of equipment to cut it. If you have a farm, Tarwaters has the products and equipment to keep it going strong. And our expanded parking lot will make it even more convenient to shop. So come see us at Tarwater Farm and Home in Topeka.